AMD has long been the favorite chips of Canadians in the PC space for one main reason. You can simultaneously complete your computer projects and you can heat your home at the same time. While AMD's Ryzen line of processors is a lot better in the heat department than the former FX series, there is still a lot of heat given off, especially the high end and mostly talking about the 1800X there, which is what I have over my shoulder in my main computer. So just a few days ago, I took out my old bulky air cooler, the Noctua NHD15, and replaced it with a Corsair H100 IV2 that I acquired some time back for around $75 from Fry's, and yes, it is a refurbished unit. So today I want to go over the thermals that I'm getting with my 100 IV2, and this should be very near the performance of other all-in-one units that use a 240 millimeter radiator with dual 120 millimeter fans attached to it. Okay, we see over here on IDA64 that we are only stressing the CPU right now, and the only temperature that I'm even bothering to monitor is also that CPU temperature. However, if we do check up on the motherboard, you know, it's a constant temperature. And uh, same thing for the hard drive that it reads the sensor from. So those aren't necessary. As we see, we've been running for just under half an hour right now, and I am going to continue this test longer, so don't worry. I'm not going to cop out and only take the half hour route. Right now, our temperature is uh, climbed into the 60s very quickly, and it really sort of leveled off. It's still been steadily going up just slowly now. It is up to 64 degrees at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and keep running this for about an hour to fully saturate that uh, AIO loop. As you know, a liquid cooler takes longer to get up to temperature because water is more resistant to temperature change than uh, the metal fins on a, on a typical air cooler. So we're going to go ahead and wait about an hour before we really uh, chime in with the final results. But uh, the test has been going well, and uh, let's check in here in about 30 minutes. Okay, so after an hour of testing, I really didn't need to go beyond half an hour. Uh, you see that the current high temperature, again, is 64 degrees. It's bobbed between 64 and 62 the entire last half hour. So I believe that the uh, AIO loop is pretty much wholly saturated at this point um, with the CPU usage at 100% for, like I said, just over an hour now. So the camera for this test is positioned where I normally sit for using my computer. So this will be the experience that you would get sitting at your desk with the computer about three feet away. So a couple more notes before I get on out of here. First off, the Noctua air cooler with its large 120 millimeter fans, and by the way, it uses two of those for the D15, was a little bit quieter at idle when I just sort of compare it um, before I took off the cooler and after. Obviously, I didn't film the first comparison, so you have to take me at my word for that. But the Noctua cooler is a little bit quieter at idle just because A, those fans are very high quality fans in the first place and quiet anyways. And secondly, because they're turning at such a low RPM, whereas the radiator fans are always turning at that same sort of low RPM on top of the pump speed. On the other hand, at full load, the Noctua cooler is definitely louder than the H100 IV2, so there is a little bit of a trade-off there. So let me know in the comments down below, if you are an AIO user, which one do you use? What's your all-in-one cooler of choice for those of you that like that liquid cooling? If you're not a liquid cooler, but you would like to be, let me know in the comments also down below which one you would be picking up if you could pick up one today. And as always, guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe down below. Those help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They have the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.